Hi, my name is Erica Schneider, and this is my midterm project for my BIM class. For the project, I chose to model the Caixa Forum in Madrid. It's a project by Herzog and Demuren, and I found it interesting because they actually took an old power station um, and reused it and made it into an art and cultural center. Um, they actually lifted up the old structure off of the ground and then added a couple more stories up above and clad it in this Corten steel screen. The base of the building, when you walk underneath it, is covered by this sort of triangulated, tessellated roof. And I use that as a concept to kind of carry this idea of triangulation onto the screen of the building, because right now it's just sort of this organic random screen pattern. And I thought that if I inserted my design intent into it, it would be something sort of like this, using a hexagon to create triangulation on the surface of the building. So to begin the project, I began a conceptual mass and basically broke the building down into three main components. Um, there's the base, the old part of the building, the power station, the um, mass above it, the new Corten steel mass, as you can see here, and I used um, void forms to kind of cut these holes in the roof. Um, and then, of course, the cores of the buildings were just modeled as extruded rectangles, as you can see here. Um, so then, to begin applying the screen pattern, I used the hexagonal divided surface um, and kind of played around a little bit with the scale of um, the pattern just to kind of decide how big or how small I wanted it to be. And then after that, I began modeling actually what the panel itself would look like. So this is kind of what I started with. Um, I added some parameters so that I could adjust the width of the mullion. So maybe later on, if I wanted to change some things, I could do that. Um, and once that was completed, I loaded this um, curtain panel family back into the conceptual mass and um, loaded that conceptual mass into the actual Revit project, as you can see here. So after applying textures and things, um, this is sort of what the end product looked like. Um, a couple other features that I ended up modeling um, making custom models of, in addition to this hexagonal pattern, um, I um, made a model of the tessellated roof at the base of the building. Um, and I kind of just used triangular adaptive components. Um, and when I imported it back into the Revit project, I just um, converted these panels into roof planes. And then, um, Another component that I made, or another conceptual mass that I made, was um, these window forms that were part of the old building. And once again, um, I inserted some parameters so that um, I could sort of adjust the, the width and the height um, later on in case I needed to change some things after I inserted it into the project. So ultimately, this is sort of what happened. You can see at the base there's this triangulated form. You can see um, the, the power station still has its old masonry um, window, window units. And uh, overall, I think it kind of begins to sort of represent what the project looked like. And um, here's an exterior rendering, my first shot at what the building would look like. Um, I'd like the screen probably to be a little bit more opaque um, the next time, but um, for now it's a good first shot and perhaps with the second project I can begin to kind of augment this screen pattern and make it a little more um, active and dynamic. Thanks.